What's going on guys? Axel here, back for my second playthrough on Lamania for Update 31. Uh, this quest is, it's in the harbor near the missing quest, uh, if, if you're familiar where that is. We've got another gnome, the theme, which I just found out today actually, the uh, the theme of this update is gnome, it's called gnome work. Uh, I guess because all the NPCs in the new quests are gnomes and we are doing various bits of work for, for the gnomes. So. Uh, here's this is the second quest. Actually, I don't know if it's te technically the second quest. Uh, I think they're all standalones. I don't think they go in any order. I think you can run them in any order you want. But uh, this one we will give a shot. Just like always, I haven't ran this before. I don't even know what the name of this quest is. Uh, and also, just as a disclaimer, spoiler warning. Obviously, if you don't want to see these playthroughs, if you want to. Play through the quest first time yourself to get that first time experience. Definitely turn off the video and rewatch it later so you can run it first time through for yourself. But uh, okay, let's see what we got to do here. So his name is Orban Rumblemore. He wants to invite us to the exposition of the arcane in the Saltire district to see my latest greatest invention. And I think that's the same uh, area that we uh, that we're in when we do the the missing quest for Reign of Madness. So I'm wondering if this quest will be kind of a, a remake of that quest. So we're going to go and try his try and find his invention in the Saltire District, Saltire District, and that's actually very. Lore appropriate for the gnomes. They like to build things. And this was actually the same loading screen we saw in the last quest, so I'm assuming they haven't gotten around to uh, updating the loading screens yet for this quest. It looked like the quest for uh, one of the uh, Shindlerin quests, actually. The, uh, undead ver the undead one. Okay, so we have to find Orban the gnome. Uh, so far, this looks like the uh, quest from the last pack. Okay, cool. We got some uh, <laughs> animated tools here. Wow, very pretty. Very nice looking outdoor area. Good visuals. And it looks like we've got... Do we have two paths here? No, this is just a dead end. There is, uh, looks like some barrels to break up here. But it doesn't look like there's much else. I like the effect here with the dam. That's pretty cool. Got a couple monsters trapped in orbs. And here's the gnome we're trying to find. So I don't know if we're going to use this enchanted golem or if he's going to fight us. Okay, for some reason we're going to watch a golem kill some crates. Oh, never mind, he animated the crates. So we're supposed to kill the crates now? Okay, I guess so. I'm still pretty confused uh, as in what's going on in the story. I th should have read it a little bit uh, closer. Gotta find that gnome again. Uh, 
And I'm assuming we're going to need to move forward on the map. He probably wouldn't have gone backwards. And here he is. So he meant to, I guess he meant to have that golem repair the city, but instead it's just enchanting various objects that are attacking me. Yep, so his enchanted golem is out of control. So it looks like he's asking us to make a wand for him that he can use to remove the enchantment. So we're looks like we're going to have to find the ingredients. Okay, so we're going to go find the ingredients. Which I'm assuming they're forward. They're not going to reappear backwards in the quest. So we'll just continue to go forward. And I don't know yet if this is something we have to actually find or if it's something that's going to drop as we um, defeat maybe three different mini-bosses throughout the quest. But we'll see. And I lost my blitz as I was talking to that NPC. <laughs> We've even got a uh, training dummy attacking us. That's really funny. <laughs> Don't think we've seen that before in quests. Gotta give him credit. That's uh, pretty creative for an enemy. Looks like we've got a few different ways we can go. Looks like back here actually was just a single room. So let's see what's in here first. Okay, just more... Just more enemies. And there's one of our ingredients, the pixie dust. Which I'm assuming will uh, that barrier will drop once we kill all the enemies. Oh, never mind. There's a lever. Didn't even see that. Okay, nothing in this room but uh, mobs. I actually could just kill the the knives here. Cuz they're the only ones preventing me from opening the door cuz they're throwing stuff at me. Well, that's cool. I thought the statues might come to life, but uh I guess pictures of Worf War just would work too. <laughs> I like the creativity they're they're um, presenting us here in the uh, the objects we're fighting. Very clever, especially the training dummies. That was cool.
kind of confused as to why there's so many doors. I suppose that's a mechanic there to get us to kill mobs. The visuals look really good here. I like the, the bush areas around here. Looks good. Reminds me of the outdoor section of a state the inn. And we got some, is this pineapples? What is that? Yep, we are fighting. The one thing I always wanted to see in DDO, the one thing I always wanted to fight was bananas and pineapples. <laughs> oh, and a watermelon. It's a banana, pineapple, watermelon monster. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. What else we got here? Looks like we're about to enter a castle. Okay, this door is not enterable. So if we gotta climb up to the top. And we are now fighting we were fighting bananas, now we're fighting chairs. Just uh just very funny to me. You can tell this is meant to be one of those humorous quests. Nothing serious. It's been a little while since we've picked up an ingredient. Hope I didn't miss anything. design for this room. Looks like a classroom? Or a church? No, a classroom. We've got books. We've got a collectible. And here's that golem we were chasing. So it's nice to see a, kind of an open section of a dungeon, actually. It's really cool. I like it. Looks like one of our ingredients is back here in the waterfall. Oh, nope, it's a collectible. Uh-oh. I have to climb back up. Okay, so that lever's going to shut it off. Adventures pack. And I really hope I didn't miss an ingredient, because it's going to be a real pain to backtrack if I did. I assume they have some kind of mechanic, though, to where it's hard to miss. That's what they ten they've uh, tended to do in some of these new requests. It's just, it's really weird to me to get a, uh, an inf uh, like, like a Mctarin monster here in this quest. It's just, it seems a little strange and out of place. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's some lore associated to this quest that I don't understand yet that makes it make sense, but it's just a little weird to me.
And I really should do that. I keep getting slowed. A chest. It might have our other ingredient in it, perhaps. Nope. This bacon. Yep, hidden bacon. They've definitely thrown in a, ni a lot of nice artwork touches to these quests, and that's one thing they've consistently done really well in the past few updates is the artwork. So this is actually a really big quest with some nice open areas and that's what I like to see because we haven't seen a whole lot of a whole lot of this in the past few updates um I don't think I need to kill this looks like I could um, Kenneth boots over there or I could just go this way what is that is that a it's like a couldn't tell if that was like a fish or a coyote head. Alright, um, more bacon, and even more bacon. Now I'm just going to ignore these guys until dungeon alert hits. getting some lag so I hope the quality of the recording doesn't mess up and I did tweak the settings since last time I noticed in my video I uploaded yesterday it got really blurry and pixelated at times and that was because I'd modified my OBS settings for a different game and they were set they just were not set correctly for DDO so hopefully it looks better So I haven't gotten one of the ingredients. There's three. It looks like there's three ingredients, and I haven't gotten one in quite a while. So I'm a little worried that I missed one. And I think this is the door. Well, hmm. I'm just going to continue to go into areas we haven't been yet. Looks like there's a door under this dam. We might have to pull a lever that will open the dam first. Here's a lever. Okay, so it opened a door down here. Don't know how long the swim is, so I better put on my uh, swimming item. Where is it at? There we go. Looks like I can't 
Looks like uh, I've got to find another lever. Oh, never mind. I thought it was uh, blocked. Looks like we're going to get the unicorn horn from this dude. So now we have to find something in order to collect something for somebody else. So this guy wants us to find Nibbles, which I guess is his pet. Oh, a squirrel. Okay, so we got to find this guy's squirrel, and then we will get one of our ingredients we need. Oh, and here's another NPC that we're going to have to go on another mini-mission for. Wait, he will trade... He said he he's saying he'll trade us the item we need for one million prayer beads. Okay, there's an option to buy him a drink. Oh, okay. Do we have to buy him enough drinks to where he'll break down and, like, give it to us for less? <laughs> this is hilarious, actually. Oh, and they have to put the disclaimer in here that it's hot chocolate. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, devs, really? <laughs> come on, we can't... What's TDO if we can't get a kobold drunk? Come on now. Okay, so it looks like we've got two of the items we need. Just, we just gotta find that squirrel now. So I'll just continue to go into sections of the map we haven't been yet. And this is one of them. Unless this, oh, this is, is this the exit? Oh, uh, never mind. That's the back exit. <laughs> so, we might have to backtrack, unfortunately. Looks like I ran out of new places to go. I'm just looking around here to see if there's anything I missed. Doesn't look like it. So I might want to go back to that NPC see if there's any... I didn't read that closely, the text. I wonder if there's some kind of clue as to where that squirrel is. He might have told us something different.
we've been through here? Yeah, we have been through here. Okay, so let's see what this NPC has to say. Let's try reading this again. Oh, he's not going to tell us. Okay. There has to be some... <laughs> Is that a naughty picture of Melissa? <laughs> um, alright. There has to be some clue as to where that squirrel is. I'm surprised he won't talk to us again. Because by just saying, find the squirrel, that doesn't give us any kind of indication to where he is. Usually they, in a quest like this, it will give you some sort of clue. But since it doesn't, I'm just going to kind of be wandering through the level aimlessly, trying to find this thing. I wonder if there's an object or a picture or something that would give us a clue as to where it is. And the nibbles. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's near the golem and I didn't look close enough. Yeah, let's head back over this way. And let's go have a closer look at that golem. Whoops. Oh, actually, have we been up here? I don't know if we have been. Well, it doesn't matter. I thought maybe there's a little section we haven't been to yet that would have the squirrel in it, but apparently not. I wonder if any of these NPCs might tell us something. Because it's weird, you wouldn't think that the NPC that told us where the to find the squirrel would require us to backtrack. So that's making me think it's got to be somewhere in this area. And I'm just not seeing it. All right, well, I'm going to have to head back then. Oh, I can't get up here. That's unfortunate.
I just feel though like there's something I have to have missed because I just don't feel like this finding the squirrel would require us to backtrack. I just don't think they would have I've run enough DDO quests where I don't think they would have designed the dungeon that way. But it's possible. Have I not been in here? I don't think I've been in here. Oh, I have been in here. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, this can't be right. This just can't be right. There has to be something I missed on the other side of the quest. Of course, it's a squirrel, so it might be in a tree. That would make sense. So now we're back to the other side of the level. It's just got to be somewhere here. There's something easy that I'm overlooking. There's a button or a lever or some area I just have not seen. I just I just don't think they would make us backtrack like that. Let's head back over to this golem. Maybe it's over here. I, I'm assuming we would need to come this way to uh, in the quest, anyways. But I don't see a squirrel or a tree or any kind of NPC. This really strange. We talk to this, uh... Oh! Pfft. I'm looking over... I knew it was something stupid like this. I've looked over the whole level, and the squirrel is right here near the end NPC we have to turn in our ingredients to. Of course. So sorry for the, uh, ten minutes or whatever of me just wandering around. But, like I said, this is the first time I'm running this quest, so... That's going to happen. I don't know how to get through it. I have to figure it out. 
And that's part of the fun. So let's talk to him. It couldn't be this simple, though. I have a feeling that I'm going to talk to the NPC, and I'm going to talk to the squirrel, and it's going to run away, and I have to find it again. I bet you anything. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Completely wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. Okay, but I do have to run back to that other NPC and give him the squirrel. So that's not too bad. At least I found the squirrel. But I can tell that's one thing that's going to throw people for a loop a little bit, because unless you think to run to the that that um, inquest NPC, you're going to be like, "Where's the squirrel?" There is no indication of where he went, which I guess is not really a bad thing. It's just one of those things where it, you're gonna, you're going to know exactly where the squirrel is after you run the quest one time. So I would actually prefer it if they had that mechanic, except maybe have the squirrel spawn in random locations. That way, the quest was different every time. And I have a feeling they didn't design it that way, because they typically don't. But I wish they would start designing quests with more randomness like that. So there we go. Now we got our last ingredient. So now we just have to run back to where we were. Whoops. I don't think I pulled this lever yet. Oh, where am I going? I have to go to the uh, up north. Now I'm guessing we're going to turn in the ingredients and kill that golem, and then the quest will probably be over. So there we go. Now we got to kill the golem, and the quest will be over. I'll turn this on. It's weird that the golem is like bringing this little shed with him on his back. I better throw in Death Ward just in case. I never know. I always like to cast it just to be just to be careful. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> I saw the uh, the trash health bar, and I thought it thought the the boss's health bar is refilled. So uh, he's actually got a lot of health, although he's got a lot of DR. It looks like 
and that's one reason why it looks like it's taking so long. Um, actually, I might, I should probably switch to my DR breaker, but oh well. At this point, not gonna bother. Actually, I don't think my DR breaker would break his DR anyways. I think you need what, like chaotic or something, chaotic weapons to break through uh, Golem. I'm not sure though. It might be. I think I'm thinking of the Marut. It might be the same DR, I can't remember. Okay, so guys, that's the whole quest. Looks like we probably got a chest over here. Nope. Oh, there's the end chest. And no name loot. That's okay, it's Lamania. I'm just gonna run over here and recall. So, uh, as for this quest, I really like it. I do, overall, I, I really like the map. It's a huge map. There's a lot to explore, a lot to look at. There's a lot of good... Oops, okay, never mind. I'm going to have to kill these things. But uh, it's a big map. There's a lot to explore. Uh, I like the humor in it with the animated, like, pineapples we have to kill and the training dummies. That was really cool. So, yeah, overall, it's a, I think it's a very good quest. It's not so closed in like other quests have been it's actually open there's some cool areas to explore so yeah I, I really like it the only thing about this quest is I really really hope that squirrel spawns in random locations I think that would give the quest a lot of replay value I have a feeling they didn't do that but I I really hope they do hope hope they would so that would be my biggest suggestion to make uh, to improve this quest even further oh my gosh I'm gonna kill another object so that yeah, that would be my only suggestion really to make this quest even better, but even for what it is, it's pretty cool. So my favorite quest so far of these of the two, definitely better than the first one. So guys, I uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Uh, I actually will try to upload a video of the third quest, but the third the third quest the, the last of the new quests is not on the preview server yet. So when it does pop up on the preview server, probably it'll probably be in the next build. So I'm guessing that'll probably be like another week or something. So it might be uh, next week before I'll get a chance to. But when it is on uh, Lamania, I'll do my best to get a video up here on YouTube. So you all can check out the quest. So that is it for this time, guys. Take care and have a good one.